Well, so today we've got these engineer wire strippers in. PA07 model engineer say these are for uh, large diameter wire. Um, their other models, their other models are very very small. These I think will suit my needs. 12 AWD to 24, or if you're interested in millimeters, is 2.5 and 0.8. 2.5 is actually the diameter of the hole. Um, it's not. 2.5 millimeter squared uh, just in case you're wondering so these are made in japan uh carbon steel 175 millimeters in length so that must be solid and stranded awg and there is some sort of attachment you can see you can get for the depth i didn't bother getting that because it's can be bothered using something like a stopper attachment and they're also spring loaded let's see what it says in the back performs a very round finish of wires after stripping by sharp and precise edge engineer original joint prevents the screw or joint screw prevents the joint from being loose and offer you maintenance free made of carbon steel oil resistant elastomer tpr handle so that's your application table again that's the diameter of the hole stripper hole and this must be solid and strong awg 175 long 50 wide engineer.jp i picked these up on picked these up on amazon for about 24.99 i wanted to see what they're like because it's hard to actually get a good set of strippers like this in the uk yes you can pick up planes um ideal i had an, a pair of ideal tea strippers on order but i cancelled them hopefully they actually do be cancelled and i don't ship them out got them from was it cpc for nail um, if they do arrive i'll maybe hold on to them and give them to somebody as a present for christmas but i thought i'd go with these engineers as they, they come in the sizes that i most commonly need the t handles only went down to 0.5 millimeters sometimes they strip wire a wee bit smaller and that if i'm footing about so we'll get these opened up and take a wee look at them. So they're, they're very light. Very, very lightweight. So we'll get a few other strippers out here and get a bit of a comparison going and see what we uh, make of them compared to others and see how they strip some wire. This comparison is not one. Um, We've probably seen a set of wire strippers like this, pretty similar in size again, they're a wee bit smaller and I'm sure you've all seen a set of wire strippers like that. This set of strippers slash crimpers slash cutters is surprisingly good, surprisingly good. The strippers on it are nearly the best strippers I've actually used to date, you know, they're, they're very very precise but it's not about that, it's about these. So, Take a wee look at them. First, let's get some wire. So the cutters on them, let's see. Wonder can you cut the sheeting? So you can't get a full cut through the sheeting, so they're not going to replace proper side cutters or pliers. This is 2.5 millimeters squared. So 2.5 millimeters squared actually is around 14 AWG. So that means I would need to use a 2.1 millimeter diameter hole for this 2.5 millimeter squared solid core conductor so yeah gives a pretty clean what this gives a pretty clean cut we'll just compare that to the nipex so we'll nip that off with the cutters and 2.5 millimeter squared on the nipex it feels so much easier on the Nipex, but it's just the size of these bastards are annoying. So yeah, we'll go with the 2.1. Strips pretty damn well. I wonder if I can actually go a wee bit smaller, if we can go 1.8. Yeah, 1.8 maybe is a wee bit better. You know, the whole AWG thing is a load of bollocks in my opinion, because half the time AWG does not actually work out to what it should be in millimetres squared, depending on solid core or stranded you know in the uk we're obviously normal and we use the metric system so it's either 
2.5 millimeter squared solid core or 2.5 millimeter squared stranded. This is, I have no idea what size this wire is. It looks like it's about 0.5. So I would guess that's in around 20 AWG. Strips it flawlessly. Nice and clean. Did it make the conductor no, it didn't. Nice and clean. Nice and clean strip. Cuts that very, very easily as well. They're very light in the hand and very easy to use. Compared to these snap-ons, if we take something like this, so I actually do really like these snap-ons for crimping and cutting and whatnot, and I would use these around the house a lot on solid core conductor. They are um, 12 to 20 AWG. So this, I would guess this will be in about the 20 AWG hole. The snap-ons just, they just strip it all right, but there's a wee bit of pulling force required. Put into the 20 in these. The 20 in these fields a good bit actually tighter. Now where I did notice a problem was, hold on, was with 0.5 millimeter squared trailer wire. So this is 0.5 millimeter squared, okay. I bought it, it's 0.5 millimeter squared, which is about 20 AWG. Engineer strippers, no problem whatsoever, okay. Snap on, 20 AWG, 0.5 millimeter squared. A wee bit, there's a wee bit more resistance. You can feel the hole just isn't as tight on the snap on. But now where the problem actually starts and what I've noticed, let me try and find this bit of wire. I had a bit of wire somewhere. Where it is, I don't know. Yeah, uh, there, 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 let me see. Where are you? So this old washing machine wire and loom I've used for testing purposes of wire strippers. I had a smoke there, right. Now we're sucking these ones. So this actually looks smaller than 0.5 millimeter squared, okay. But the funny thing is the nipex, if I put it in a 0.75 millimeter squared hole, strips it no problem. No problem. If I put it in these in 20 AWG hole, strips it no problem. Put it in the snap ones in the 20 AWG hole, nothing happens. So, if you're looking for a set of wire strippers for around the house, I would recommend these Engineer PA07 made in Japan. I think that is for looping wire, so if you need to put the wire in and loop it around, you know, to make your, your, your I'm, not, uh, I'm not a fucking spark, like, so to make your, your connections or whatever, and squeeze it those way in, but I don't know what they're for, but if you're looking to pair wire strippers for the house or working on your car, these are pretty damn good. They go from 12 to 24 AWG. 24 AWG is probably, you'll never use anything that small, really. Um, but yeah, the engineer PA07 made in Japan, very, very lightweight, a lot lighter than these snap ones. Saying that, I do like these snap ones, but as for a pair of wire strippers about the house, these would be hard to beat for £24.99 on Amazon UK. Lanyard holes in the bottom of them, you know, you can put them into your pocket and they'll stay shut with the, the, the closer latch. So yeah, as far as I know, they're made of high carbon steel. And we'll see how well they resist rust. So I would say this bit here will pick up a bit of rust if I don't keep it oiled. The black should be okay, but yeah, hopefully that, hopefully that uh, gives you an insight into the Engineer PA07 wire strippers made in Japan. One last thing I forgot to actually mention in the video. So whenever I was researching these, because they're listed in AWG, I was sort of concerned that they'll be like, you know, like these snap ones and not be true to fit on some of the millimeter squared wire. Somebody on Amazon had asked a question to the seller. The seller had went to engineer to ask for more information. And the question was, 
the, the AWG sizes sometimes don't always match right to the millimeter squared sizes. An engineer basically came back and said, there is two types of wire. They're stranded and solid core. That's the way they look at it. They don't look at it as AWG um, millimeters. So they have developed this set of wire strippers to cater for basically AWG and millimeter squared. And I think that's why they have the whole diameters printed on it. So, um, you know, if you're working with the same wire a lot, you should really know the diameter of the cable. It's diameter, not cross sec a cross-sectional area has the diameter. So yeah, that's just a wee side note. Overnight.